There have now been more than 4 million cases of COVID-19 across the world. Over the past week, several countries have started lifting stay-at-home orders and other restrictions in a phased way. Countries put these stringent measures in place, sometimes called lockdowns, in response to intense transmission. Many have used the time to ramp up their ability to test, trace, isolate, and care for patients, which is the best way to track the virus, slow the spread, and take pressure off the health systems. The good news is that there has been a great deal of success in slowing the virus and ultimately saving lives. However, such strong measures have come at a cost, and we recognize the serious socioeconomic impact of the lockdowns, which have had a detrimental effect on many people's lives. Therefore, to protect lives and livelihoods, a slow, steady lifting of lockdowns is key to both stimulating economies while also keeping a vigilant eye on the virus so that control measures can be quickly implemented if an upswing in cases is identified. I have previously outlined the six criteria countries need to consider before lifting stay-at-home orders and other restrictions. Over the weekend, further guidance was published that outlines the three key questions countries should ask prior to lifting of lockdowns. First, is the epidemic under control? Second, is the healthcare system able to cope with a resurgence of cases that may arise after relaxing certain measures? Third, is the public health surveillance system able to detect and manage the cases and their contacts and identify a resurgence of cases? These three questions can help determine whether lockdown can be relaxed slowly or not. However, even with three positive answers, releasing lockdowns is both complex and difficult. Over the weekend, we saw signs of the challenges that may lie ahead. In the Republic of Korea, bars and clubs were shut as a confirmed case led to many contacts being traced. In Wuhan, China, the first cluster of cases since their lockdown was lifted was identified. Germany has also reported an increase in cases since an easing of restrictions. Fortunately, all three countries have systems in place to detect and respond to a resurgence in cases.